encouraged by the response to its sustainable travel campaign launched last year, the German National Tourist Office in India has unveiled new campaigns for the year 2023 and beyond. While sustainability stays at the heart of GNTO's campaigns, it is also promoting the 51 UNESCO World Heritage Sites in Germany, says Romit Theophilus, Director GNTO India. Theophilus adds that he would like Indian visitors to also explore the heart of Germany, where many of these sites are located. He says that many Indians are now making Germany their solo destination as well. Our campaign goals, barrier-free, uh, which is accessible travel, feel good, which is sustainability, and the UNESCO World Heritage Sites and Embrace German Nature. All of these we have created itineraries for people that we can actually go on our website and actually figure out how to do it and what to do. So this makes your life easier also when you're traveling. For example, accessible travel, if I was to talk about, we've actually marked everything by the kind of uh, problem you may have, whether it be you might be visually impaired, you may have an issue hearing or you have a mobility issue. So there are different things and we've gone further to talk about allergies also places you should go. So it's everything from hotels, routes, accommodations, everything. Cuisine, it doesn't matter, but that's just an example. If we were to talk, talk about the UNESCO World Heritage Sites, we have eight routes which we've mapped out where uh, we've kept in mind international airports so people can easily come and go as well. So this is just a few things that we're doing. So, the, you know, the more we talk to the German travel industry about sustainability and the more people adopt it, we get more and more feedback about how they're doing it. So whether it be how they're managing their energy, for example, how they're managing different types of uh, cuisine, regional cuisine for that matter, not trying to go out and source something, uh, adding to carbon footprint, etc. So it, it's just a question of the industry coming together and uh, the campaign will continue in, in further years as well. And we're just trying to make sure that uh, um, we give the message out that Germany is a sustainable destination. So not much has changed, except our communication has become much louder and we have many more participants part of the sustainable campaign. We are targeting both. In India, we are targeting both B2B as well as B2C. Uh, with B2C, we do a lot of work uh, talking about sustainability with, uh, with journalists. We try and run campaigns, online campaigns as well, to try and give the message of sustainability out as well. Uh, with the trade, we do our regular sales calls, we do roadshows, uh, partner with associations to try and get our message across. Yeah, you know, uh, it's, it's quite surprising. Um, it's, it's funny that uh, Indian people are actually uh, very um, accepting of sustainability because uh, in India we've always been sort of sustainable in a lot of things which we might have changed over the years, unfortunately. But uh, it's like we're going back to what we used to do, which now the Western world is taking into consideration. Well, you know, it, it's both actually. It's sometimes it is more expensive, sometimes it's not. I must be honest with you uh, about when you're talking about sustainability for that matter. So sometimes it does become work more expensive, especially when you're trying to work within a region suddenly, which you haven't done before. So to try and grow new things, etc., it does become, it does raise the price of certain things. But in the long run, we know that it will be, come back to what it used to be. It won't be as expensive as it is today. But in a lot of places where things are readily available, it's not a problem at all. I'd like them to start visiting many more, like in Thurangia, we saw there was a lovely castle over there, example, and Thurangia is in the middle of Germany. So I want people to now start going into the uh, core of Germany or the center of Germany or the heart of Germany, to, so to say, because all that is being done is just this area, which is the borders, sort of, so to say, which are close to other European countries. And I want them to go and explore all of Germany. That's the idea. So we do see that a lot more people are going and choosing Germany as a solo destination. And we notice that what is happening is that how the trend of passengers has changed is that people who've gone to many countries start going to two or three countries and then start focusing on one country. So we know that this trend will continue and this will actually make our round trips go higher. That's the basic idea. We're not doing anything specific for this, but we just know that this is a natural progression that we've seen.